Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Nissan Pathfinder. The Nissan Pathfinder can be both automatic and mechanics. The last boxes were smaller, they were only on European cars with diesel engines before restyling, and in terms of reliability, manual transmission is not the best choice in terms of reliability, but it's good when you have a choice. The situation with the automatic machines is also quite simple. Before their restyling, a 5-stage operated with all engines, and after it, a new 7-speed box was offered with a 3-liter diesel engine. The drive course is full, although occasionally there are rear-wheel drive patrons from the United States. But think, why do you need such a car without all-wheel drive? The transmission scheme is extremely conservative. A transfer case is docked to the gearbox, from which two propeller shafts drive the front and rear axles. At the front, the gearbox is assembled with an intermediate shaft to equalize the length of the drive shafts. Both the front and rear propeller shafts are completely straightforward. This accordance with the resource of 60 100,000 depending on the operation. For replacement, you can buy internal cross pieces with grease fittings or ordinary maintenance free. The rear gearbox is somewhat weak. It heats up quite a bit and the resource of the oil seals is not too large. And if they haven't yet moved higher and have not rinsed the breather, then the chances of killing the gearbox become very real. The hardware itself is quite reliable, but it is better to check the gearbox for fogging at every MOT test and before every long trip. And of course, it is advisable to keep the breather clean. The front gearbox is less stressed, but it requires the same care. In addition, its suspension requires attention. If you do everything wisely, then these notes are enough for 300-400 thousand mileage. But a barbaric attitude can ditch them earlier, after which replacing the bearings cannot be enough. On a test drive, the dead cross pieces and the problematic gearbox are perfectly audible, so pay attention to these sounds during a test drive. The transfer case is a more complicated and troublesome thing. It is here without a central differential, but connecting the front axle with the clutch package allows you to implement the on-demand mode. On demand. The transmission modes are 2H, 4H, 4L and Auto. You can drive on asphalt only in 2 age and auto modes, but all modes with hard-on all-wheel drive on asphalt cannot be turned on. The increased load on a transfer case provokes failure in the first place of the bearings. They are inexpensive here. In trains, they cost 7207C3, the price of which is about 300 rubles. The bearings are some more expensive internally, but they usually wear out later. When operating in auto mode, the service life of handout bearings is usually 19-125,000 km. In 2H mode, on hard surfaces, all elements run for a long time, more than 300,000, but literally one season in 4H mode can lead to a death of not only liner bearings, but also clutch wear and chain stretching. Unfortunately, the transfer case on the cars with a 3-liter diesel is slightly different. It doesn't have a 2H mode which means that with all the desire, it is impossible to extend the resource of this box. In general, the design of the dispenser is quite interesting here. The clutches are not compressed by the electric drive, but by oil pressure, for which there is an oil pump in the rear shank. The oil, of course, needs to be changed regularly. When starting from a standstill, at the first moment, only one axis works, which doesn't in the best way affect the passability in loose soils. The downshift is controlled by an external electric drive. In general, all the elements of the transfer keys are not very expensive. A chain from BW costs about 11,000 troubles. Bearings are generally penny. Drums 18, 12, h 12,000 troubles each. Clutches are not expensive. If you ignore the vibrations, drive hard with a rigidly connected all-wheel drive on the asphalt, then you will not get off with the easy repairs. In addition to damage to the bearing seats, you can earn overheating of the transfer case, damage to the chain and drums, and even a hosing tightened by a screw. Do not save on small repairs and do not bring to the replacement of the entire unit. Although the design is quite interesting, but its foolishness is zero, and it's not very suitable for constant use on slippery winter roads. And this is not surprising, the machine is primarily designed for operating conditions in the United States. The FS6R31A series manual transmission works roughly, but it's quite reliable. This is a box of commercial vehicles with a huge resource. The lack of machines with mechani mechanics let down a weak dual-mass flywheel and a weak clutch. The clutch here for most drivers cannot survive 100,000, well, if 60 passes. Moreover, the replacement is quite expensive. You need to remove the two drive shafts and the transfer case together with the box. Sometimes they just hang out on the motor. It is three times cheaper and much faster, but there are chances to break the fan and pipes. 
the flywheel brings closer to 100,000 mileage. The maximum can stretch up to 180-200, and definitely not more. It is dual mass and expensive. There is usually nothing to repair in advanced cases. Automatic transmissions on pathfinders are of two series. Either the 5-speed Jetco RE5R05A, which was installed with all engines except the V9X, or the 7-speed RE7R01B with a 3-liter diesel engine. All boxes are very reliable, and this is the rare case when the 7-speed box is even slightly more reliable than the old 5-speed box. However, first things first. The 5-speed Jetco RE5R05A is more, almost the same as for example on the Kia Sorento. All machines on the Spanish assembly before installing with 2.5-liter engines, its modification RE5R01A is found, weaker but structurally the same. Jetco 505 is a very sturdy box with a classic design. Its huge resource is limited mainly by the resource of the blocking linings of the gas turbine engine and the wear of the brake band. With a mileage of 180 to 200,000 km, you'll have to go through what is usually called minor repairs. Otherwise, the sensitivity of the box to the gaps in the clutch packs can be noted. In the presence of wear, the clutch kits are completely changed. And there is also the well body electronic board, which is very sensitive to overheating and power surges. Code 319446. The price of the new part is about 14,000 rubles, but usually it can be repaired. With careful operation, regular oil change and timely repair of the gas turbine engine, the resource of the box as a whole is more than 300-400 thousand kilometers. Before this run, only minor failures of sensors and the most loaded solenoids are possible. Unfortunately, the peculiarities of Russian exploitation have an effect, and there are quite a few boxes that have been rolled to zero. The reasons are simple. We change the oil only when the box is already given out the first call, they drive abruptly, the engines are forced, and of course, the trailer and off-road terrain are drastically reduced. Another feature is associated with the box cooling system on a Pathfinder. A combined automatic transmission cooling scheme is used here, where a rather large automatic transmission radiator is combined with a heat exchanger in the lower reservoir of the main engine radiator. There are no complaints about the effectiveness of this scheme, but on cars manufactured before 2007, the heat exchanger often leaks due to corrosion. Later, the likelihood is high, and on Pathfinder released after 2010, such cases are rare. The simplest solution to the issue is to install a bypass. Cooling is direct to an external radiator by passing the common heat exchanger. Usually this is enough to maintain the normal temperature of the box in urban conditions and on the highway. But off-road and when dragging a trailer, this is not enough and the box overheats. Therefore, the best solution is to install one more sandwich radiator in addition to the standard one, preferably with an electric fan. Well, what if we leave the factory circuit? Even a small amount of antifreeze getting into the oil soak the clutches and they contaminate the inside of the box. If the leak is massive, it will also pick up the bushings with the pump, and the dirt collected in lumps will destroy the blades of the gas turbine engine. For a sternant rider, the box after a leak is, not, is only suitable for a landfill. No whole parts remain in it, and what is not damaged by liquid is clogged with products of destruction, so it's better not to risk it and drop drawn out the cooling circuit in the main radiator, even if the car is still relatively new. The Jetco RE7R01B automatic transmission is an improved version of 5-speed gearbox. The mechanics were slightly lightened, but the structurally weak brake drum unit was eliminated and the blocking pad for the gas turbine engine became multi-disc. True, along the way, all contamination accelerated sharply and the design itself became more complex and more sensitive to assembly errors and oil purity. But overall, its reliability has grown. True, it is still better to change the oil not according to the regulations, but every 30-40 thousand kilometers. Put an external oil filter and not overheat the box. The automatic transmission is relatively new. There are practically no cars with very high mileage and this automatic, so it can be noted that on average up to 200 thousand, this design holds up very well, and it's difficult to kill it purposefully. Features of the cooling system are the same as in the previous five stage. The chances of depressurization of the heat exchanger are minimal, but they do exist. It is usually caused by mechanical damage to the fittings during off-road driving or repair work. It is better to drone out the and forget, or even better to modify the cooling system by installing a new radiator and filter with the thermostat. 
This set of engines on the Nissan Pathfinder is very good. Those who prefer simplicity and power will love the 4-liter VQ40DE and 5.6-liter VK56DE. If you change or remove the catalyst in time and do not forget to change the chains, then more than 300,000 mileage, even on a heavy car, are provided. The YD25DTI turbo diesel plays in the junior power category. category. These are the most powerful versions of this engine with 170 and 190 horsepower. It turned out not so reliably but economically. After restyling a 3 liter V6 diesel of the V9X series appeared very powerful and with a solid boost margin with a very low vibration load for a diesel engine but with its own new problems. The cooling system of all motors uses a fan with a viscous coupling which must not be forgotten to update at every 50-80,000 km, otherwise the motor can overheat. All gasoline engines have very weak catalysts, which are better to change or remove without waiting for them to kill the piston group of the engine. Diesels after 2007 are equipped with an advanced exhaust system with a particulate filter catalyst. This element in our conditions is also not tenacious and creates a lot of additional troubles. Gasoline engines are not particularly fragile, but you need to monitor the catalyst and timing knocks. The rest is almost exemplary reliability and maintainability. Here I agree with those who think these motors are better than even Toyota GR series, but if not for the catalyst. Unfortunately, it is they who usually spoil everything, causing increased wear of the piston group after 120-150 thousand mileage. The chain life on the V6 is higher than on the V8, and in general the V8 is more troublesome. Gasoline engines are boosted well and according to very simple recipes. For pathos, this is not very important, but fans of chipping the engine of NCUV are still there. Remember, after forcing the motor, the automatic transmission and the rear gearbox are not residents at all. And in general, such a chassis of more than 400 horsepower is too much, and the 5.6 liter engine is often first even up to 480 500 horsepower. The most common Pathfinder engines are 2.5 liter diesels in all variants. A high performance diesel engine with common rail on a heavy machine shows itself quite well in terms of traction and fuel consumption, but it literally works for wear and tear. Moreover, a heavy CUV often drives along the track and crawls through the mud. Before styling, the engine power was 174 horsepower on newer motors. After restyling, 171 turbid Garrett GT2056 V with conventional vacuum regulation. After restyling, the 190 horsepower engines were equipped with the latest expensive Borg Warner BV45 turbine with a variable geometry and electric damper drives. In parallel, the motor was modified to improve reliability. First of all, to reduce the number of problems with the cylinder head cracking. On pre-styling cars, crack in the glow plug channels appeared often, and cracks in the valve seats are not so common. The slightest overheating or long-term high load on the track led to the breakthrough of gases in the cooling jacket. With a low level of antiprius, literally after a 5 minutes of engine operation under load, the heat simply jars. Experienced Pathfinder owners recommend installing not an original cylinder head during repairs. Even in later versions it has thin channels and is still prone to cracking, but a cheap Chinese SAT had causing about 40-50 thousand troubles. And it is imperative to install an additional electric pump for the Bosch cooling system. Very similar symptoms of malfunctions are brought by the leakage of the EGR heat exchanger, but the cost of repairing it is much lower. True, the often missed level of antifreeze leads to the same damage to the cylinder head. They know how to weld cracks, but the quality of such work is often low. Here you have to finally, finally drill the entire oxidation zone, and usually this is a difficult job and costs more than a new, non-original head. Moreover, there can be a lot of cracks. A fairly reliable piston group and a well-developed design allow the engine to reach runs even for 400,000 without major repairs, but there is also a chance to get a cylinder head repair. Pathfinder owners often complain about the turbine whine that is characteristic of cars before styling. On 190 horsepower cars, the turbine actuator breaks down. Because of the clock's particulate filter or disrupted fuel supply, its geometry regularly turns sour. The injectors of these diesels are quite reliable, as well as the preheating system, and everything can be normal up to 150 200,000 mileage. But a clogged oil pump receiver and a violation of crankcase ventilation on cars with high mileage are common. For those who like to drive at low speeds with a load, especially in cars with manual transmissions after 150,000 mileage, crankshaft liners fall into the risk zone. You shouldn't joke with oil pressure, 
but on aging motors, every time you change the oil, you need to check for the presence of metal shavings. It is also worth checking the oil temperature. The heat exchanger becomes dirty with high mileage, but many turn it off in order to avoid antifreeze leakage. Many connections in the engine are made on sealant, for example, the lower part of the crankcase, and if silicone sealant was used during the repair, then a large amount of it gets into the engine. There will be a lot of problems after that. The timing drive is chain and very resourceful. It usually can withstand up to 250,000 km. The 3 liter V6 diesel engine, despite its good power, turned out to be not very. This diesel engine is inclined to show a good oil appetite. All the scrapper rings are little by little, and the piston are very thermally loaded. For a diesel engine, this is very bad. It can, for example, lead to runaway. All scarper rings are on sale, but this is the only thing that can come in handy. Sometimes it squeezes out the compression ring, and it will be very lucky if it doesn't catch the cylinder. It has neither repair liners nor piston repair dimensions. Liners are not on sale either, but they are also very necessary. The motor has very narrow crankshaft journals, all wide of a large diameter. The load on them is very high and the crankshaft is extremely sensitive to oil pressure. Even overheating of the oil can cause scuffing. And one more surprise, the ceiling ring of the oil filters gets into the oil pump and wedges it. Everything this gives to the engine. The design of the filters has changed, but sometimes the oil pumps still wedge. The resource of the timing chain is insultingly small. After 120,000, you need to carefully listen to the sounds of the morning start. And by 150, 180,000, the chains will almost certainly require replacement. The EGR resource is very low, and the engine is very sensitive to EGR problems. It will not be possible to simply shut off the valve. You will need a new firmware. Of course, the V6 is powerful, compact, lightweight, and economical, and it has almost no diesel vibrations, and the sound is soft. But it often breaks down, and it's not repaired. A short, a short block from half a million rubles is too impudent for a car with a maximum price of a million. When buying a Pathfinder with this turbo diesel, keep in mind that it is almost unrepairable. It seems like the inserts can be picked up or made to order, but here they are composite. For a high load, and ordinary aluminum ones will not last for a long time for sure. At the very least, you will have to switch to more viscous oils. The rings and piston group are unsuccessful, and they can only be replaced with custom forging. In general, if something breaks, then the degree of heat is maximized. If you want a powerful motor, take a better car with the VQ40DE. It's better in traction, quieter, there is almost no hassle with it, and risks are minimal. On this information, on the problems of Nissan Pathfinder is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.